Hey, it's Jeremy from Opticast.com. So this is my copy of The Art of Animal Drawing by Ken Holtgren. And I'm going to let you look over my shoulder as I do some master studies from his book. And I'm specifically focusing on horses in this, uh, in this session because I'm drawing a comic book that's a Western. And I figure, well, hell, I always need help in working on improving my animal drawing, specifically horses. And, you know, one of the best ways to learn how to draw better or improve your skill is to draw from somebody who's already mastered drawing the particular thing you're working on. Observational drawing really is the best way to learn, but master studies really support doing observational drawing in a very particular way. As you go through and you do observational drawing, you have to make decisions about what to leave in or leave out of a drawing, what to accentuate, what to downplay. And these are decisions that you learn to make over time, but the difficulty when you're a beginning artist, when you're new and you're just starting to work, you know, create your work and starting to learn anatomy, structure, volume, is that you don't have the knowledge in your head to make these decisions well. You'll make a lot more poor decisions. And the advantage of doing master studies is that you can see these decisions in the work of someone else who really has mastered the craft. They have decided what to leave out and why. And then when you are back to doing your observational work, when you're working from a model in a figure drawing class or workshop or what have you, or if you're doing animal studies out in nature, when you observe animals in similar positions and poses, you can compare the decisions that you've seen in the works you've done master studies from you can compare those to the decisions that you make and what you see in nature. And you can see what happens if you try to draw it exactly as you see it and then compare it to trying to do another study where you use some of the things that the artist you studied from, you know, downplayed, things that they added in, things that they may have changed. And you can start to observe not just their drawings, but you can actually observe their decisions by seeing what happens if you make similar decisions or different decisions. And it's important to do that on your own, to try things out differently than other artists. You may find you may find your own voice. And not necessarily that you're reinventing how to study the figure, but you may learn that there's a certain way of describing forms and volumes that works better for you anatomically, that uh, expresses what you want to express. So I think that is a big part that I've only learned in recent years of how to improve my decision making as an artist. And there's more than one way to do artist studies, by the way. Traditionally, people think of artist studies as someone sitting down and trying to replicate line for line, paint for paint, tone for tone, the work of a master, doing a copy of a Mona Lisa, doing a copy of a Da Vinci or a Michelangelo or what have you. And that is a very valid way to study. However, depending on the amount of time that you have or the specific needs that you're drawing for, you can also work on a piece and just study the volumes and the structures. You can sit there and try and analyze the drawings of a, uh, a master illustrator and try to break down how they treat anatomy, how the pieces fit together, um, trying to study their composition. Um, if it's a color piece, studying light and color and just doing sketches that break down the specific elements you want to work on. So, you know, there's more than one way to skin a, yeah, skin a horse in this case. No, that, that's really grim. That's kind of gross. Um, but there's a lot of different ways to approach, <laughs> to approach this. And in mine specifically, structure and volume is always the thing and proportion that I need the most help with. So mine are a lot looser and me really trying to focus just on those elements. You know? And I figure with this whole thing of me working on a Western, I tend to look at things that I don't do well as an opportunity and a challenge as opposed to a barrier. So I thought, you know, if I'm not great at doing horse, drawing horses, then I'm going to do a whole Western that's, you know, going to be filled with horses. Um, at some point, I'm probably going to do a comic book that's all about cars and motorcycles because vehicle drawing is not my greatest thing. So I'm going to do like a whole chase book or one that has, that's filled with stuff like that. That's it for now. Check out my website, OpticHouse.com. 
If you enjoy these videos, please share them. Also, sign up for my weekly newsletter to get a free digital download and see what else I'm working on. Go be creative.